my name, my new Sil Fox. And I'm KFC Dad. What are you doing? <laughs> what the hell? Hello guys and welcome back to the Mind the Silver Fox channel with KFC Dad and special guest Wesley Stauser. This is prediction week number two. Yes, for the championship. Remember guys to like and subscribe to the channel and how many likes do we want to get for this one? About 100 again. Okay, we keep trying to get to that 100. So if you watch the video, like and subscribe if you haven't already and help us to get to 100 like target and um, our subscriber count up to 6,000. We're up to 5,500. 500 more. Come on, guys. Get down. Get down and subscribe. Last weekend was really good in the championship. Yes, it was. It was week one and there were some exciting games and some unpredictable results that came up. So let's work, see where we are points-wise for last weekend, the week one of the championship predictions from us. Um, who's in the lead? Me. Mine is all Fox. Ball. How many points you got? Eight. Yes, he's got eight points. Uh, <laughs> I got I got five points. And Wesley Schnauzer, he got five points as well. So in the lead in week one is mine, the Silver Fox. Good start for me. Okay, guys, so let's dive into the championship predictions for week two with mine, the Silver Fox, KFC Dad, and special guest Wesley Schnauzer. So what's game one? Coventry City versus Oxford United. Coventry City versus Oxford United. Um, oh, in the week one, Coventry lost. Yes, against So City. Yes, Baker, I think, scoring in the 78th minute. And Oxford United, unexpectedly, well, we didn't expect this, did we? They won 2 0 against so Norwich City. And also, they lost jo Jonathan Ridfrow. They don't want him to be there. Yeah, so Norwich City, they've lost a few crucial players that uh, they kind of relied on um, and they they didn't look uh, that great and Oxford beat them 2-0. Yeah, so that they was... Got hammer, they got hammering. hammering. Uh, not quite a hammering, but 2-0, yeah, it's, it's good. Well done to Oxford United. We didn't expect that. They came from League One. They did. They came up last season. Um, right, so what are you going for on this one? I'm going for a 2-1. I'm sorry, Oxford's fan. I think Coventry are going to go back home winning again. 2-1 to, to, to Coventry? Yes. I think, I'm gonna, having, having seen how Coventry lost to um, Stoke City, I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to go 2-1 to Oxford United. I think it'll be a tight game, but I'm going to go 2-1 to Oxford United. And they'll carry on with their winning streak. So mm. that's game number one. Uh, what about Wesley Schnauzer? Hey, everyone, I'm back. Wesley Schnauzer for week number two. And it's Coventry versus Oxford United on the Friday night kickoff. Um, Oxford winning in their first week and Coventry losing. Because of that, I'm going to sit on the fence, got to throw a Desmond. I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw. Okay, game number two is on Saturday at 12.30 kickoff. At Derby County. It's at the Pride Park. Derby County against? Millsborough. Derby County against Millsborough. Okay, so in week one, Derby with a Friday night kickoff and they got thumped 4-0 by Blackburn. Smodic scoring two goals. I think. I think uh, as long as they keep Smodic, they'll they'll be okay. Different to what I said last week, but I do think they will lose Smodic. But anyway, Derby. I want you to come to Leicester, please. Well, that would be good. But Derby, yes. Yeah, so they lost four nil, and Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough won one nil against Swansea. Yes. Um. Sorry, Derby County fans. You're gonna lose here. Three nil. 3-0. To Middlesbrough. 3-0, okay. Um, I'm going to go with that as well. I think they'll, they won't they will win, Derby County. I'm going to go 1-0 for Middlesbrough. 1-0. Uh, 
and a bit of an improvement on 4 0 for Derby. But I think, yeah, they will lose 1 0. So, uh, Mr. Snauzer, what about your prediction? Game number two is Derby against Middlesbrough. We've seen that Derby got smashed 4 0 by Blackburn on the Friday night kickoff in the first game of this championship season. Middlesbrough, they scraped a 1 0 win, but I think Middlesbrough will be too strong for Derby, and I'm going to go a 2 0 win for Middlesbrough. Okay, game number three is Portsmouth versus Luton Town. Yes, a promoted side and a relegated side played against each other in the championship in game number three. Portsmouth uh, did unexpectedly well. We didn't think they would do that, but they drew 3-3 against Leeds in the week one. Leeds didn't play very well again. Portsmouth, they told me. They didn't, no. Um, and it was a, well, a six-goal thriller, wasn't it? Fair, fair, fair play to Portsmouth. Yes, fair play. and surprised me. And I'm sure they'll surprise a few more people during this season. Um, so, Portsmouth... Mm, I'm I'm not too sure about this one. I'm saying 2-1 to Luton Town. 2-1 to Luton Town. Well, Luton, they, they, they were a relegated side. They were, they were decent in the Premiership. Um, and they've come down. But I think this might be another one where Portsmouth might give us a bit of a shock and thing. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for a Desmond. I'm gonna sit on the fence and go for a Desmond two-two for this one. But Luton are playing tonight against Burnley. Yes, that's the only one on our predictions for week one we haven't got down because we're recording this on uh, Monday evening because uh, the games are going to come thick and fast. We've got Premier League to do as well, so we don't know um, how Luton will do tonight. Mm. But. I predicted a Desmond 2-2 and you've predicted... 2-1 to Luton. Okay, so that's game number three. I'll have to go to your Wesley Schnauzer. Yes, Mr Schnauzer, what's your prediction for this one, mate? Game number three is Portsmouth versus Luton Town. Portsmouth doing very well in their first game. Played against Leeds and got a 3-3 draw. A six-goal thriller, whereas Luton... Were involved in a five-goal thriller against Burnley on Monday night and lost 4-1. However, I still think Luton, being a relegated Premiership side, should just about beat Portsmouth. Sorry, Portsmouth fans, but I'm going to go 2-1 to Luton down. OK, game number four is West Brom versus Leeds United. Yes, West Bromwich Albion against Leeds United. One winning, one drawing. So, West Bromwich Albion, they did well, did in their first. Carlos Corberon, his team, they got a 3 1 win. They got the three points. They did get the three points. Whereas Leeds drew, like we just said, with Portsmouth. So, what are you thinking on this one, Mr. Silver Fox? You might get, get it short, Leeds United fans. I'm going for 2 2 draw. Go for a 2 2 draw. A Desmond. A Desmond. I'm going to sit on the fence on this one as well. I'm going to go a 1 1 draw. Oh. So I'm going for a draw on this one as well. A 1 1 draw. So, uh, Mr. Schnauzer, what about you? What's your prediction? Game number four is West Bromwich Albion versus Leeds United. Two big teams in the championship. West Bromwich Albion getting a win and Leeds United getting a draw in the first week of the championship. I'm going to go for a 3-2 West Brom win. Game number five is... Bristol City versus Millwall. Bristol City versus Millwall. So in the first weekend of the championship, Bristol City got a 1-1 draw against... All City. All City. Yeah. Lines. And um, Millwall were involved in a five-goal thriller against Watford. Yeah, they did score two goals, didn't they, Millwall? Um, but inevitably lost 3-2 to Watford. So what are you going to go for on this one, mate? 
I'm going for a minimal to win 2-1. Minimal to win 2-1. But put their lines. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm going to sit on the fence on this one again. <laughs> that, that's your favourite word. I'm going to go a 1-1 one, one draw for this one. Let's go to the Wesley Schnauzer. Let's go straight over to Schnauzer Palace. And what have we got there, Mr. Schnauzer? Ooh. Game number five is Bristol City versus Millwall. Bristol City getting that 1-1 one, one draw with Old City. And Millwall in the five goal thriller with Watford, but just losing out. So I'm going to go for a 1-0 win for Millwall on this one. Game number six is... Burnley versus Cardiff City. Yes, Burnley versus Cardiff City. Burnley, a relegated side from the Premiership last season. They used, um, they've used that company, but they've got him rid. And now bring Scott Parker. They didn't get him rid. He, I think he left <laughs> and went to buy Munich because he, cause he yeah. can't turn that down, can you? So, uh, yeah, he went off. And then they got in Scotty Parker. He used to be, he used to be manager of Fulham manager. Yes, he did. Um, right, so uh, Burnley versus Cardiff. Cardiff, they did play last weekend and they lost 2-0 to Sunderland. Two did the Black Cats. They did. So, what do you think with this one, mate? I'm sorry, Cardiff and Blue Bears, you've got to get beaten out here. 3-0 to Burnley. 3-0 to Burnley. Right. Mm. Okay, I'm going to go for a Burnley win as well, but I'm going to go... I'm going to go 2-0 to Burnley. Yeah, 2-0 to Burnley. And let's get over to... The Schnauzer Palace. Mr. Schnauzer, what's your prediction for this one? I'm sorry. Game number six is Burnley versus Cardiff City. Burnley coming off the back of a 4-1 thumping of Luton Town. And Cardiff City losing to Sunderland 2-0. I'm going to go for a 3-0 Burnley win. Sorry, Cardiff fans. Game number seven is... Norwich City versus Blackburn Rovers. Norwich City versus Blackburn Rovers. Well, we know Norwich um, lost, didn't they? Yeah, bitch, that was a bit shot. Against Oxford United. Yes, against Oxford United. And... And they, Blackburn won... 4-0. 4-0 on the Friday night kickoff against Derby. They've battered Derby. 4-0. And they, uh, two goals from Smodic there. So, I think if Smodic is still there this weekend and he plays, he's going to get some goals. Yeah. Okay. So, what's your prediction? Sorry, Nice City. I think 2-0 to Blackburn. 2-0 to Blackburn. I'm going to go for a Blackburn win as well. I'm going to go... I'm going to go 2-1 to Blackburn. Well, let's go to Shady to Wesley Schnauzer. Wesley Schnauzer, your prediction, please. Game number seven is Norwich City versus Blackburn Rovers. Blackburn Rovers thumping Derby County 4-1 and looking good. Well, they still have Sammy Smodic and Norwich City losing to Oxford. Um, I think I will... I think I will go for Blackburn to win 2-0. Game number eight is Plymouth versus Hull City. Yeah, let's go to Hull City first. In their first week, um, they drew 1-1 with Bristol City. Remember we said the tale of two cities? Well, they drew got a 1-1 draw there. Whereas um, Plymouth, poor old Plymouth. Yeah. Under new manager Wayne Rooney, their first game, they got... Thumped 4-0. They got thumped 4 0 by Sheffield and, Wednesday. Got, Another dark horse in my eyes for this season. They, they got smashed. Like yeah. Wednesday. So, what are you predicting for this one? Wayne Rooney you could, and the team Plymouth, you're going to lose here. 3 1. I'm saying Hull City to win. Yeah, I'm going to go for Hull City win as well. I'm going to go for a 2 0 win for Hull City against Plymouth. Oh, that shirt is a whole colour. Orange. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, what about you, Mr. Schnauzer? What's your prediction for this game? 
Game number eight is Plymouth Argyle versus Hull City. Plymouth Argyle in their first game getting thumped 4-0 by Sheffield Wednesday. And as I already said, Hull City drawing with Bristol City 1-1. On this one, I think Hull City will be too strong and I'm going to go 2-1 to Hull City. Game number nine is Sheffield United versus QPR. Sheffield United, another one of the relegated sides from the Premiership. Personally, I think I, they'll be the strongest side out of the three that got relegated. Um, so, Sheffield United last weekend, in their first weekend back in the Championship, they got a 2-0 win against Preston. And QPR lost 3-1 against West Bromwich Albion. Nice. Uh, didn't, didn't start off well for QPR, did it? So, what will you predict for this one, mate? I'm saying 2-1 to Sheffield United. 2-1 to Sheffield United. Yes. Um, I'm going to go Sheffield United win as well, but I'm going to go 3-1. 3-1 to Sheffield United. So, that's uh, game number nine. Mr. Schnauzer, what about you? Game number nine is Sheffield United versus QPR. Sheffield United getting a 2-0 win over Preston in the first game. And QPR losing 3-1 to West Brom. I'm going to go for a strong 3-0 win for Sheffield United. Game number 10 is... Swansea versus Preston. Swansea City versus Preston North End. Um, Yeah, well, Swansea... They lost, didn't they? Yes. And Preston, they lost as well. Yes. And Preston have departed with their manager, Ryan Lowe. They said goodbye to him. And that was today. So that's after one game. Wow. After one game. Um, Preston, what are you going for? I'm going for Swansea 2 1. Swansea to win 2 1. I'm telling you, I think Preston will struggle. They might do. They might do. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for a one-one draw. Oh. <laughs> Sit on the fence. So I'm gonna go for a one-one draw in this one. What about you, Mr. Schnauzer? Game number ten is Swansea City versus Preston North End. Preston North End, as I just said, lost two 0 to Sheffield United, and Swansea City they lost as well against Middlesbrough one 0 on this one. I'm going to go for a 1-0 Swansea City win. Okay, game number 11 is... Watford versus Stoke City. Watford versus Stoke City. Um, Right, Watford, they were in that uh, five-goal thriller, winning 3-2 against Millwall. Yeah. And Stoke City won as well, didn't they? They, they won 1-0 against Collagen City. They did, they did. And like and... I said, I think, I think Stoke are... A, the dark horse and what we might be dark horse well um yes but in this game i'm gonna go for a 2-1 win to stoke i'm going for 3-1 stoke city so we're both going for stoke okay so that's game number 11 what about you mr schnauzer watford versus stoke city both teams doing well Watford winning 3-2 against Millwall and Stoke City beating Coventry 1-0. I'm going to go. I'm going to go for a Stoke 2-0 win. The last game of the weekend is game number 12, which is... Sunderland versus Chef Wednesday. Sunderland versus Sheffield Wednesday. Sunderland winning 2-0 against Cardiff City at the weekend in the game one. And... Chef Wednesday won 4 0 against Plymouth. They did. Two teams that look uh, all right. Um, I, I, did, I did think Sunderland would struggle, but they won 2 0. Uh, what are you going for on this one? I'm not, sorry, Sunderland fans. I'm playing 2 0 to Sheffield Wednesday. Yep, yeah, I'm going to say the same. Sorry, Sunderland fans. I'm going to say the same scoreline. I'm going to go for a 2 0 for uh, Sheffield Wednesday as well. I think they look. They look good. I could say Vardy will like that. He will like that. So, what are we saying, Mr. Stauser, for the last game of the weekend? 
The last game of the weekend, the Sunday kickoff is game number 12, Sunderland versus Sheffield Wednesday. Now, Sheffield Wednesday looked good when they played at the first game. And Sunderland, they got a win as well. However, I think Sheffield Wednesday are strong. And I'm going to go a 3-1 win for Sheffield Wednesday. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the Premiership predictions. And probably next week in week three for the Championship. Adios, amigos. Okay, guys, we hope you enjoyed watching these second week of predictions for the championship. Um, remember, smash a like, help us to reach 100 likes for this video, and subscribe to the channel. We're like. at 5,500. We need to get to 600. 6,000, I mean. Like, and to share, and smash the like all. Or... Hey everyone, my name, my name is Sil Fox. And I'm KFC Dad. <laughs> okay guys, so let's dive into predictions for two. Okay guys, so let's dive into week two of championship predictions from mine, the Silver Fox, KFC Dad, and special guest, Wesley Schnauzer. So game number one is... Coventry City versus Oxford City. Oxford City. Oxford United, you. Game number eight is Hall. Game number eight is Hall City versus Pl <laughs> Okay, so the last game of the weekend is. Sunderland versus Chef Wednesday. Yes, uh, the 12th game of the weekend is on Sunday and it's a 12 o'clock kickoff and it is Sunderland versus Sheffield Wednesday. <laughs>